Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we made it to Act 5, so this is pretty much going to be the point where we're going to be taking on the other two kingdoms, one chapter at a time. This is the time where we actually get to defeat Wei, and we're going to go to the first stage, the Siege of Fawn Castle. We've got to take Fawn Castle from Wei, who is being led by Sao Ren in this battle. And Lu Meng is our commander. And we're gonna pretty much uh, use siege weapons to infiltrate the castle. There's nothing effective about this because the siege weapons, like the siege ramps on the east and west side, the catapults on the north and south side, well, the siege ramps take forever to set up. However, if you're on the way side, they can get there set up instantly. That's how bad it is. That being said, however, it's time to like go to our new equipment. We still got the Shadow Rod, which is good. I can go around to unlock Huang Guy's level 10 weapon, but I'll do that later. I mean, I'm in no rush. So, I got some new equipment because I was doing a bit of training with other characters, and I found this weapon called the Ice Orb. Luckily, it's a separate item slot compared to everything else we have. Basically, what it does is that whenever your Muso meter is at, is at full, your charge attacks, aka the triangle button, will have an ice element attack. It's a very low chance, and the most level you'll get out of it is 4. This is not the best orb you can get, but if it connects, you can freeze enemies and continue to damage them. So that'll be very good to have. Uh, let's just go... I don't think I need the peacock urn anymore, because as far as my HP goes, I'm doing just fine. However, what I will need to make things a lot easier on myself, I should really put on a speed scroll, just to speed up my characters a little bit. What else should I put on? If it's only level 1, the elixir is not going to help me that much, so I'm going to keep the 7-star uh, sash to increase my luck. It might actually give me better items in the long run. As for my bodyguards, I have been training them a little bit, so now I can take 6 with me. I'm going to set them to bow, because they would actually increase their defense that way. Whatever weapon they have equipped, the greater t certain stat they will get. So, without further ado, let's get started. If I get my ass kicked, don't get surprised, because the enemies here actually get smarter. In fact, standard foot soldiers start using aerial charge attacks. So, the enemy is entrenched in the castle. They will most likely send small units to destroy our siege weapons. And that very much is true. In fact, you're going to be seeing that a lot. Okay, so we got like a couple of way officers, like one in the southwest and one to the east. The one closest to me is Shu Huang. Anybody that plays Dynasty Warriors know he's that guy with a turban and some people thought he's from the Middle East. That's not true. He's actually Chinese. But this game sets him up to uh, look Chinese, look Middle Eastern because of the turban. Okay, we got some one of our siege weapons set up, and Shu Wong is attacking it. So I better get these Wei troops out of there. I also gotta be very cautious. I think my attacks and damage the siege weapon as well. Oh, damn it! Okay, hopefully I won't regret taking off the uh, peacock urn. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with a fair amount of ambush troops coming from pretty much anywhere. Yeah, so that's going to be a problem, especially for our siege weapons. And well, pretty much, a Grotus, why aren't you attacking Shu Wong? He's right there. Dude, just hit him. He's got a big axe. I mean, come on, he's standing out. Okay, I almost got him. There. What magnificent strength. Yeah, Xu Wong, he, he's kind of there when it comes to the wave forces. He doesn't stand out that much, but he's been known to be a very honorable guy. Like, he believes in true strength above all else. Well, true might, rather. And if you kick his ass, he'll give you a heads up for it. He'll give you props. I think he's one of those guys you can respect. Even though he doesn't really stand out that much, he's a good guy. 
Like, if Wei was considered villains, he would kind of be in the middle. Yeah, so every time we lose a siege weapon, the Wei forces are going to get better morale, which sucks. So we pretty much got to keep an eye on everything here. If you had a horse, it'd be a lot easier to watch over all sides. However, I don't have a horse, and it's only thanks to this uh, speed scroll that I'm able to move at a decent speed compared to what I usually do. That's it. So I'm pretty much just going to cover like maybe one or two sides at a time. Mostly focusing on the left side. If there's no troops around there, then I'll head south. Because I think Zhen Ji's still around there. Nope, she's still at the east. I'll probably help out the uh, catapult over there to the south, though. I'll probably deal with Zhen Ji later on when she decides to come our way. Who do I got there up uh, guarding the south? Anyway, oh yeah, Zhou Yu. Uh, Zhou Yu, uh, catapults need some help. Come over here. Protect the damn catapults. I mean, we're gonna need them. I mean, what good are the catapults anyway? Do they do damage to the Wei troops inside Fawn Castle? I have no idea. Really, though, the siege weapon of utmost importance would be the siege ramps, because they allow you to get in the castle without Sauron lowering the gates. The oh, not my problem. Right now, Pan Zhang's down. Okay, hopefully Lu Xun can the keep these troops strong. busy. Exercise caution. Speaking of which, I'm going to have to come his way now. Unfortunately, Taisha Su's in danger. I mean, who is Taisha Su fighting anyway? Probably just standard foot soldiers. Uh, Ma Chong's still inside the castle. Sima Yi's still inside the castle. So is Shu Ju. Taisha Su is struggling against foot soldiers, for crying out loud. I mean, I could be using my bombs as one guy, but I, you can damage your own troops that way, and throwing it in the direction of the siege ramp would not be a good idea. In fact, it would be a terrible idea. Have you ever played Bomberman and then box yourself in with one of your own bombs? That's what it'd be like. Just don't do it. So far so good, we're keeping these siege ramps safe. Maybe I should seal up a stronghold while I'm at it. Something to keep me busy. I think at this point in the game, standard enemies or just sub-officers will start using their own Musou attacks on you. So yeah, once you get to Act 5, the game does get harder. The enemies do get smarter. Let's try one of these bombs. That missed every single one, of course, because they got closer to me. Oh, now gate captains are blocking Musou attacks. That doesn't really help much. Defense is still pretty much my soft spot. Usually in free mode, I just go to the Battle of Hefei. Oh, bleh, Battle of Hefei. Because that's where you get the most defense points, compared to all the levels we have unlocked now. This doesn't look good. Oh, damn it, Taisha. Oh, great. Lady Jen's coming her his way now. Well, if she comes to us, then we'll take her on. In the meantime, I still gotta focus on these siege ramps, and I don't know why they take so long to set up if we're on the Wu side. On the Wei side, they can get them set up in no time at all. I don't get it. And plus, they can keep replenishing siege weapons um, if Wu was our opponent. Meanwhile, if our siege weapons are destroyed, I don't think they come back. If they do, you don't hear from it. Good thing Thomas is keeping himself busy by shooting arrows through the siege ramps, of course. Hitting some of Sauron's troops. Okay, I might as well just head this way to the north now to help out Taisha Su. Until more ambush troops come, then I'll have to head back to the west. If the ambush troops are not near the west, then I'll leave them alone. Now the speed scroll is eh, it's helping a little bit. It would have to be a very high level for it to be noticeable. Huang Guy is still a very slow character, unfortunately. Well, Catapult's still alive. Hey bitch, what's up? Ah, hey! Oh, 
you troll! It's like, oh, you're using a Muso attack! I'll just walk around you! Oh, Siege Ramps are in danger! But I need to take out Genji! Ah, damn it! Why are you smacking me with a damn flute? Next thing you know, she she's gonna start playing the uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 song, and then just whisk away to the other side of the level. Oh, catapult's gone. Hmm. Our forces seem a bit over I can go Must win Oh no, Lumong, stay there! If you die, we lose! Okay, attack is still very solid. Hopefully I can freeze someone in this level at least once. There! We got an item for it. Okay, now I gotta head back to protect the siege ramp. Where is Lumong anyway? Oh, he's over there. Uh, another ambush party. What's up with all these ambush parties? And they're just going from everywhere. It would take forever to dispatch them all because you gotta cover so much land. You can't really go through Fawn Castle because it's not even open. Oh, geez, the uh, Lushun's troops are just fine protecting this here our siege ramp. Nice job. I really gotta stop thinking I have to babysit everyone all the time. But you never know what could happen. Like, they're not even doing anything. Look at this. It's like, are you running a Windows 95 in these damn things? It just takes forever. Installing 30,000 updates before you can even extend the damn bridge. Oh my god, thank you. We can actually go up the damn castle. Now I believe the uh, Muso wine and the uh, Dim Sum are around here. You actually go on top of the castle walls to find them. Okay, this should stop some reinforcements. Well, I'm not worried about the reinforcements now. Okay, there's the dim sum. Actually, I think my health's at max, so I don't think I can get any more. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing I have to go to the other side of the wall. In order to get the uh, Muso wine. Oh, yeah! Monchonsicles, anyone? I don't think that would taste very good. It's mostly just like ice and soil and green. Soil and green is purple! Oh my god! In fact, I think one guy has almost every stat maxed out except for a defense. Like, defense is usually the last stat you'll ever max out. That is when you know if the dim sum or muso ones are in each area. Otherwise, that might be the last thing you max out. Okay, we're really damaging the way troops here. Okay. And their morale is so low because we got into the castle. Rather than have them try to get to us. Uh, well, that's gonna have to wait. Where are they? Where are they too? They're probably over to the northeast. Because if the supply troops get over there, they're gonna get reinforcements. Speaking of which, I might as well intercept them. Actually, I don't think I can. For some reason, I can't drop down that way. You know what? If they get reinforcements, you know, we'll just dispatch them too. Probably don't even need to look for Muso wine. Okay, now the gates are closed again, but that's alright because we're gonna take out Sauron anyway. Or whoever else is in the castle. Was it Shuju and a Simai? Okay, there's Sauron. He's the main guy in this mission. Yeah, you will! And so will everybody else around you. Yeah, I figured out- What? Did I just uh, break out of Sauron's grab? Oh, and I had a Muso attack. So I was trying to take out the troops that are near him. 
That way I can just clear everything out. And I can flank. Uh, guys? Here, go on attack mode. But you know what? They're, they're actually in a good position. Just keep picking guys off. Don't get too... What the hell? It's just firing like a, a few Hadoukens at me? And Bragg's gone. But he wasn't hit by any of those fireballs. I don't think. Okay, we're doing really well here. How many more troops does he have left? Okay, they're actually dropping down. Okay, I I'm liking the this attack where you do the shock wave. It really clears out the troops. I mean, you don't get any weapon experience for it, but like, I don't even need weapon experience. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, close. There we go! That was easier than I thought. I usually struggle at this part because I keep having sea dreams destroyed on me. And the result way just overwhelms me. But we're victorious. I didn't get the Muso one because I don't think I can increase my Muso meter anymore. Alright, so we got a speed scroll that was useless. <laughs> How my bodyguards doing? Am I gonna get anything out of this? Eh, very little. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll just save the game. And I'll stop the video here, and in the next part, we're gonna go to the Battle of Shuting. Yes, I, I said it properly, okay? Stop laughing. See you later, everyone.